So, I'm the kind of girl who sprays not once, but twice. And when I do, I go excessively. I'm the kind of girl who still does not know how to line her lips, but when I do, I make it work. <laughs> I'm also the kind of girl who ends her videos very awkwardly because she does not know what to do with her hands. So she chucks deuces and she blows kisses to the world. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Ada. Thank you for coming. <laughs> what am I saying? Thank you for stopping by to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I highly appreciate it. So today I am going to a lunch at my, one of my, my wife has a professor or something like that. And she's having the lunch for her students and that's where we're going. So let us get started. So I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I am loving the hell out of this stuff. It reminds me of Milk Hydro Grip. I didn't say they were the same, but it does indeed remind me of it. I feel like this one is a lot more tacky. That doesn't mean it's better, but it's definitely a lot more tacky. Um, the only thing that I don't necessarily like about it is that it moves my sunscreen. Excuse me. Let me turn my watch off. Not off, but let me mute it. Um, as you guys have seen it, or as you guys saw, I should say, it moved my sunscreen around. And at first I was like, yo, what the heck is going on? But the more I used it, I came to the conclusion that that's, that's what was going on. It was moving my sunscreen. But... I think it's okay because I still have sunscreen on, right? On to the foundation. Dior Forever Skin Glow in the shade 6.5 Neutral. I'm going in with the Morphe E63 brush and I am just pounding that into my skin. Now, you may say, girl, that ain't your color. But don't worry because we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. We gonna, we gonna make it work, trust me. It all works out at the end. Um, I do bring it down to my chin. I don't take it down to my neck. I could, because this is the outfit that I am wearing to the, um, to the event. So I could very well bring it down to my neck and, you know, do it that way. But the process that I am going through with this makeup look is going to make it blend out and work with this the color of my chest so we ain't had no worries there I'm going in with the maybelline superstay 30 hour active wear concealer in the shade 50 i said that all kind of mix, mixed up but i love this concealer it blends out so beautifully it leaves a nice, nice finish on the skin. It is, it's, it's just, it's just beautiful. Like I really, really enjoy using this. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I really do. I don't know why I didn't think I was gonna like it. Cause I love the foundation. Crazy thing is, I haven't even tried the foundation and the concealer together. How crazy is that, right? I should definitely do that. Try the concealer and the foundation together. Look at that, chef's kiss. I'm I'm in such love with this foundation. I mean, it's gonna like, I'm going in with the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Espresso 05, I believe it is. Everything that I am using will be listed down below in case anybody is wondering. I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. Um, look at that, did you see that one tear that just rolled down my eye? that one long tear that just came I think I had the AC on and that's why I'm doing this voiceover so I think that's why the tear rolled down but I cut that drawer off ASAP <laughs> I was like okay so this ain't gonna work because I can't have those kind of issues because I need this video to come out perfect so usually when I blend my concealer out I start out the perimeter and then I work my way in and then when I do my concealer, I am I'm, concealer. When I do my contour, I'm blending it into my face, like into the center of my face, not out towards the center, not out 
not to the out outer perimeter of my face just because I want the warmth to be inner not outer if that makes any sense like I want the majority of the warmth to be on the inner part of my face um yeah I hope I'm making sense and I hope as you guys are seeing me do it it's making sense also but I love this contour stick. I love the way it blends out. I think that's the thing that I love the most about it. It's how easily it is to blend out. Some con contours, it's like you feel like you're blending forever. And it kind of gets muddy. And it messes with your con your um, foundation and whatnot. I ain't gonna call out no names or nothing. But it does that. But this one doesn't. And I appreciate that because... I don't want to deal with it. I really don't. Um, but yeah, it definitely gives you the warmth that you are looking for. Especially if you get your right color. <laughs> if you don't get your right color, you may be working with that muddy look. But if you do get your right color, you be spot on. And here I am working with, the, working with my neck. And here I am using something interesting. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Lavender 01. Yep, this is a lavender setting powder. I know it sounds real crazy, right? But it works. It really does. And it gives me the best finish. Do y'all see that? Like, it looks really, really nice. I didn't think it was going to look as good as it did, as good as it does, but oh, in love, in so much love and awe with how this comes out and how it applies, it's very finely milled so you get a nice application. It doesn't come out blotchy or anything like that. You can blend it out really, really nice. You can apply multiple layers without it looking like distorted or anything like that. If you guys get what I'm trying to say, it is just it just works. Like even when you apply too much, it's still easy to blend out. And you guys will see what I mean in a little bit. Because I do go overboard. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but you guys will see that in a second. Oh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. I highly appreciate it. It means the world to me. It lets me know that you guys like what I am doing. It lets me know that my content is actually touching and it is meaningful. And here I mean, girl, do you need that much on your forehead? <laughs> Did you really? Now, I just left it because I was like, I'm about to use a bigger brush to diffuse that. But you guys see how it diffused and it's nice and it's airy and it doesn't look like I just applied like a ton of powder on my forehead. That's what I mean when I say you can't really go wrong when it comes to this powder. Like it makes me want to go try more of uh, fancy powder brushes, blushes, because they are this one at least proved to be beautiful. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour powder in the shade 365 Copper and I'm using this to set the areas where I did not set it with the Fenty Pro Filter powder. I'm even using it to go over some of the areas that I set with the Fenty Pro Filter just to make things seem a little bit more uniform if that makes sense. My camera right now is more focused on Bob than it is on me. Anyway, here I am going in with Anastasia Beverly Hill bronzing powder in the sh bronzing powder in the shade Mahogany, and I'm using this to set my bronzer 
and I love this as a setting of a bronzer. I love using this because it gives my face just the warmest touch and it's not too much, it's not too little, it's just the right amount of warmth to the face and it's it is a bronzer it's not a contour or anything of the sort it's definitely a bronzer like it's a bronzer um yeah and i'm taking the same brush this is a morphe brush i can't remember the number but it's definitely a morphe brush no it's a ultra sense brush um here i am using the nyx bear with me um, setting spray and this is just to take away that powdery look from all the powder products that I applied to my face and yes I do that in slow-mo because I think it looks banging in case you were wondering so yeah I'm telling you <laughs> don't give me no mind oh yes and look um I saw this on IG and I needed it. Yes, I needed it. But I couldn't find it. So I looked on Amazon, of course, because everything's on Amazon. But I couldn't find it on Amazon either. But guess where I did find it? Walgreens. Can you believe that? Walgreens. I was so excited. I was hype as hell. So here I am taking this bright ass pink blush, cream blush. Look, let's look. Just look at how bright this is. I I keep going too. Like I don't even stop. Here we go. Look at it. Oh, it's so bright. The only thing I don't like about cream blushes is how it gives you that shiny look to your cheeks. Like it's almost wet. I don't like that. I'm not into that. So I do go over it with a powder, like a transduce, almost transduce. And I go over it with the Pro Filter lavender powder to take away that um, wet look. Of course, I got to my nose. <laughs> I always do my nose now. I don't know when I started doing it, but now I just don't stop. But here I am going in with the translucent powder because I can't stand that shiny look. I don't understand why it does that. I mean, I guess I do because it's cream, so it has some shine to it somewhere, but I just can't. Maybe in the winter time, I could tolerate it because it'll give your face that like look, but no okay now this is the second setting spray the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless flawless setting spray spray <laughs> and this bad boy this is to set and lock everything down now i mean set and lock everything down things don't move after i set this thing again after i spray this one Things stay where they belong. Things don't move. Things don't shake. Things don't rattle. Things don't go nowhere after I say, after I spray this one. This is it. This is the final straw. This is, this is where, this, this is it. Because this joint right here, this joint right here, that's all I gotta say. That's, that's all I gotta say. And of course, this is the slow mo portion of his own. And back to the <laughs> Blakeless fan. And you can't see it, but it changes colors as the fan is going. I would have to turn it around, but then it would be pointless for me because I wouldn't be getting the effects. And I close my eyes when I'm doing it because I don't want my eyes to crease. If that makes any sense. I like I'm meditating. This is so peaceful. I like I'm really in this home. Alright, they on the set eyebrows. Okay, so here I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio 
brow wax in the shade deep brown and I know you're probably like that ain't brown that look gray that's what I said also but it serves a purpose of giving my brows to stay lifted and then I go in with a deeper deeper colored product to get it to be the shade that I need it to be um so yeah it's all it, it all makes sense after you see you see it then so here we have the NYX lift and snatch eyebrow marker and this is what I use to go ahead and fill in my brows after I have lifted it with the brow wax or Pomade. I think it's wax. I think they call it a wax. So towards the tail, I'm just like filling it in. But then once I get towards the um, front area, I'm using, or at least I'm trying to use feather-like hair, feather-like hair-like strokes, I should say, to fill it in so it looks more natural. Yeah. Yeah, one edge. And mix them with the gray and it doesn't it doesn't look as dark as it would if it wasn't mixed in with the gray. If it was just dark black, it would look real cray cray. And I'm going in with the Kisos Brow Gel in the shade Black. And I'm using that just to comb through the brows, especially the outer portion is what I'm focusing on. Just to make sure those are colored and filled in well and that they look as sparse as I need them to. And here I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Black, or Black is Black. Whichever one you want to call it, it is Black. And I am going to apply that to my lashes top and bottom bottom is always the trickiest because I always think I'm gonna mess up in between I go ahead and I apply a little bit more powder to my cheek area um, around my nose just because I noticed that I needed more powder there because the blush was a little bit more shiny um, in that area I didn't want to mess up my, my bottom lashes, like always. Here I am lining my lips with a NYX liner. I don't remember the name, but like I said, everything I use will be listed down below. So do not worry, you guys will have the names for everything um, down in the description box or description bar. Whichever one you want to use, I don't know. It's going to be down there. And then I opted to use a pink lipstick to match my pink blush. It may seem outdated to match pink on pink, but I was like, you know what, what the fuck, go with it. The gloss is even pink. And here we go, this is the finished look. And I was feeling myself. I don't know if you could tell, but I was feeling myself. And here we go with a nice little slow-mo. Look at me. That was cute. That was real cute. That was cute. I don't show y'all my whole entire outfit, but I do show y'all the bag that I carry. This bag I got from Target. It was on sale, I believe, but it is super cute. It handles it handles a lot of stuff on the inside. But there I went, chucking deuces, blowing y'all kisses, ending the video. And yeah, if y'all had time, please go ahead and subscribe and watch more videos. I would appreciate that. Hit 
the subscribe button and hit the like button and comment down below if you have anything to say start a conversation and yeah bye y'all